my freaking heart dropped. I'm like, what am I doing? Like, Erica, what are you doing? Like, is this, is this what you really want to do? Like, I'm just like, I don't know. I just had like a moment of realization. Like, what am I doing here? Like. Hey you guys, it's your girl E and I'm back with another one. Now, I promised you guys I would share my behind the scenes experience at the Baddies Midwest and Baddies Gone Wild auditions, you guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so much stuff happened, guys. Like, I don't even know where to start to tell you guys about the whole experience, child. But yeah, a whole lot of stuff happened. So basically, I flew to Detroit, Michigan to, you know, go and audition. That was my first time ever going to Detroit like I've never been to Detroit and I really didn't know much about Detroit to be honest with you um, I literally planned on going to the auditions maybe like the week before I had been debating on if I was really gonna go or not you know because we've all seen the audition videos you know it gets really really wild and you just really don't know what to expect you know so I really debated on going or not um, and at the last minute, I just happened to know someone who lives out there. Now at the last minute, I made up my mind and decided to go ahead and go to the auditions. I actually met this girl at a pool party and she just so happened to be in Detroit already. So I was like, you know what? This might be a sign and let me just go ahead and go. But don't worry you guys, I'm not gonna talk your ears off. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the clips of my journey there. By the way, my camera did get stolen, so a lot of my footage was stolen. Of course, you know, I was vlogging with my camera, but luckily, luckily, God is good, y'all. God is good, because I did record a lot of footage on my phone as well. So I still will be able to share some of the clips with you guys, but just know I had a lot more footage for you guys, you know, but we're gonna get to that. So go ahead and watch these clips real quick. And again, I kind of was looking a little bit of a hot mess at the airport, you know, but again, like we had less than a week to prepare. Like all the people that came to auditions, unless you lived in Detroit, then you had like a head start. But for people who were coming out of town, you guys, like we didn't really have a lot of time to prepare. Literally, I booked my flight and my hotel the night before not even kidding you so yeah like i didn't even pack my bag till like hours before i went to the airport like that's how much time i literally had and i just literally threw anything on the most important thing for me was to be comfortable and i was definitely comfortable you guys now i did have some difficulties at the airport you guys i almost did not even go to be real with you because um i booked my ticket with delta and you guys, I always fly with Delta, mind you. I've been flying with Delta for years. I'm a Sky Miles uh, member. So like, it was just like second nature for me to book with Delta. But if I would have known that like, I wasn't gonna be able to board my flight, you guys, I would have never booked with them. And moving forward, I'm going to reconsider when I wanna book my flights, you know? 
Um, long story short, um, when I was trying to board my flight for Delta, they told me that I would have to check my bag. Mind you, my bags were the right sizes and everything. I guess they were saying like they already had enough bags on the plane and that I would have to check my bag, but I wasn't okay with that. I'm not gonna lie, I just wasn't. I wasn't comfortable with it because I've had stuff stolen out of my bag before when I've checked my bag in with Delta. So for me, I just wasn't planning on checking my bag and if I was, I would have at least put a lock on it. But because I literally only had a carry-on and a personal item, I didn't even think that I would run into this issue. And like the representative, she was like very, very rude. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this with Delta or not, but she was just super rude and just super unhelpful. I asked to, you know, speak to a supervisor just to see if there's anything that they could do. And when the supervisor came, chow, she was worse than the attendant, you guys. Like literally the attendant was telling her when she came, like, let me just go on the plane and see if there, you know, if there's anything we could do. And the supervisor was like, no, if you're not checking your bag, you're not getting on this flight, you're gonna have to put all your important stuff in your personal bag. Mind you guys, I have two small bags, so all of my stuff were literally compressed into my bags. There was no way that I could move things around because, you know, I had literally stuffed, you know, the bags up with what I could for my trip. So she was like rushing me and like I just asked her not to rush me you guys and then she was like you know what you're not getting on this flight you know she closed the door and she was like you know you're not getting on this flight she even canceled my ticket this lady was determined to make my life hard you guys and like just very snappy bad attitude I was just like wow like, literally I could not believe it you know like the lady was just very rude very mean she did not care and clearly you know there's people out there who get a little bit of power you know they get a title supervisor and they just feel like they want to you know use that and like be mean and wicked to others and kind of just like they want to display their authority or whatever the case may be so she ended up canceling my ticket so I couldn't even get on another flight going to Detroit on Delta so you guys at that point in time I literally was like you know what I'm going home I don't want to deal with this this is already a bad sign like I don't know if I want to you know continue like now I just spent $600 on a round-trip flight to Detroit and back home and this lady just canceled my flight so I just didn't know what to do you guys and like I'm just thinking to myself like yeah my ticket will be refunded but I won't get refunded right now so literally I had to come out the pocket at the airport you guys and buy a whole another ticket with a different airline so literally I went to Southwest I had cash on me I had like $300 cash on me and I had to go put that on a cash card at the airport and buy another flight through Southwest that's how determined I was I'm like you know what when things start going bad that's how you know like you're really your blessing is really trying to be stopped you know and i wasn't gonna let any obstacle get in my way i'm like you know what y'all trying to stop me from going to the baddies midwest auditions now i'm really about to put my foot on the metal you know what i'm saying now <laughs> i said metal <laughs> pedal foot to the pedal but yeah that's what i was like you know now i'm really about to you know gas up on you guys like y'all got me messed up you know like that was just i don't know it was just too much if she would have at least put me on another flight i would have still been you know on time and everything but you canceling my ticket you're trying to take me off the game you know and one thing about me i'm stubborn i'm not gonna let no one play with me so i was like you know what watch this so i went to southwest i got my ticket you guys and i got on the next flight that i could that was leaving to detroit and it kind of sucked because my original ticket with delta was a straight shot flight so i didn't have no stops or anything but when i went and got my ticket through southwest i did have a stop like in between so yeah child like don't ever tell me i didn't put in the work to get y'all some behind the scenes child because i definitely did <laughs> so um okay so i hop on my flight i believe my stop was in chicago so i flew from atlanta to chicago i had a stop in between um my plane did arrive to that airport late so like literally 20 minutes after landing we hopped on the next flight from chicago to detroit and yeah i landed in detroit So 
I got an Uber to my hotel. Um, I ended up staying at like a hotel downtown Detroit. Literally my hotel was like two minutes away from the Huntington place and that's where the auditions were. So your girl had a nice view, okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm about to give you all a room tour in a second. So yeah, your girl had a nice room, a nice view, a nice everything, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But no, like, you know, I made sure like, okay, you know, I'm gonna make the most of this trip, you know, so yeah. Um, but before I get lost in the story, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the clips of my room and also what I did that night. Cause when I flew in that night, I actually went out and I was trying to get some food and like, you know, trying to see a little bit of the city. Cause I knew I only had like really a day to be there. And most of my day I knew I wouldn't be at the auditions. So just go ahead and look at, you know, where I found myself doing and yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So that was my room tell me what you think in the comments was it cute was the view giving because that room was like literally costed me 750 for two nights and one day yeah 750 for two nights and one day so ciao yeah i definitely cashed out well really my man cashed out but you know my money is his money and his money is my money so you know how that goes but yeah ciao like <laughs> cashed out for that hotel room you know what I'm saying but I really just wanted to make sure that I gave myself the best experience from the minute I got to the airport to the hotel to the audition I wanted it to be a good memory so anyway child I got settled into the room um I put my bags down um I called the girl who I was supposed to be meeting in Detroit like hey girl I'm out here and then I pretty much hop in the shower you know what I'm saying I did meet someone downstairs in the same hotel and we were both trying to look for food so we ended up going to this casino around the corner from the hotel child and I was like okay period I was like yes like Atlanta doesn't have casinos, you know? There's a lot of stuff like Atlanta doesn't have that other states do. Like we don't have beaches here, we don't have casinos. Um, I don't think they allow gambling, I don't really know. But you know, Atlanta's a little bit different. So just to kind of be in a casino and like, you know, change the mood a little bit, change the vibe, you know? Cause I am a Cali native, you know? I'm used to going to the beaches when I wanna go to the beach and I'm used to going to like, 
Well, I'm not gonna say I'm used to going to a casino because I don't go all the time, but you know, it's just like you can, you can go, like it's not far. So it was just nice, you know, to kind of see a little bit of Detroit because again, I really only had one full day there and I liked the fact that I was making the most of my night. And I think when we actually got to the casino, it was probably like 3, 4 a.m. already, so it was super late. But, you know, it was still a great experience. And you know what thing about me? I'm gonna meet people everywhere I go. That's one thing about me, like my personality, I don't know. I just gravitate to people or they gravitate to me. So, you know, trying to make my trip fun. So, you know, I was definitely gonna go be nosy and go see what was going on, you know what I'm saying? Um, and of course, you know, I always share my location with a family member and stuff like that. So yeah, it was cool. The casino was fun. Um, we weren't able to get food. So I did end up going back to my hotel and just got some snacks from like the front desk. They have a little shop right there. So I got some snacks and then I went back to my room because literally five hours after I laid down, like I had to be back up and start getting ready for the audition. I'm so fat, but you know I'm about to dig in, y'all. I have not ate since yesterday, literally. the Zeus Midwest and Baddies Gone Wild auditions were held. Ciao! We got there at 1.30 and let me be so real with you. Like, you can see how my makeup is today. You can see how my makeup looks right now, right? My makeup looks cute, you know, it looks good. I took my time to do my makeup. When I tell you that I was being rushed to get ready and go to this audition by the girl who I met up with in Detroit, I'm kind of regretting not just going with my first instincts because Something told me, do not rush. Like, you know, something told me there's no rush. Deuce told all the people who are auditioning to be at the location at 12.30. And I think earlier that morning, they had posted to be there at 12 p.m. But chow, I wasn't really like, I don't know. Something just told me like, don't rush. Like, take your time. Like, literally you're two minutes from the location. But you know, the person who I was going with, she came to my hotel room. She was rushing me to hurry up and get ready. So literally, I kind of just like, threw some makeup on and literally the makeup that I use I've never used it before like for a full face it was literally like a new brand of makeup that I was just trying I've never used it before I couldn't find my other foundation that I usually use so that was like a backup and I happened to just use it and I kind of just put it on like when I was getting ready it looked fine but later down the line when I actually got in the sun and I got to the location I'm like oh my god I don't like my makeup I feel like I rushed my makeup you know my outfit was cool but I feel like I didn't really have enough time to put like a lot of thought into my look that day. So I was a little disappointed with how my makeup came out because I was being rushed. But you know, I think I still looked okay. Um, now when we got to the actual location, you guys, the line was extremely long. And there was no reason for us to rush there because literally 
we waited in that line a good three four hours you guys and it wasn't until i went to the restroom which is all the way in the front and i was like you know okay i need to go to the restroom i need to get out of this line because when i tell you that i was like faint in that line it was so hot and like some of the Zeus employees, they were like passing out water bottles and stuff like that, but still like it was crazy hot. And then it's like a whole bunch of girls in a long line, like, you know? So you're like, so you're like head to head with the person that you're standing with the line, you know? So I'm just like, I gotta get out this line. I'm the type of person, I can't really stand in one spot for too long. I need to move around. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go to the restroom. So I literally had to like hop over the fence thing because that's the only way you could get out of line or you would have to walk all around. You have to walk all the way around out of the gate and that would have just been a lot harder. Mind you, I had a skirt on you guys. <laughs> but luckily the girls that I was in line with, they were super nice and they helped me like, you know, get over the gate. So I went to the restroom you guys and like, oh my God, the AC felt so good. I'm just like, I don't know I just had like a moment of realization like what am I doing here like I'm just like I don't know I just had like a moment of realization like what am I doing here like I've never done anything like this you know like I've never auditioned for a show or ever you know came to an audition where I had to stand three hours in a line in the hot sun I'm like what am I doing like Erica what are you doing like is this is this what you really want to do like you know and that's how i knew like wow like you know i can really persevere through a situation when i want something because i i shocked myself i'm not gonna lie i really did i really surprised myself like uh, okay <laughs> let's get back to the story so i went to the restroom and then there was other girls in there and like we were all talking and stuff like that and you guys i literally had got this on camera too i'm so mad about my freaking camera you guys but anyway we were like talking in the bathroom and one of the like security that was working for the event she comes in and she's like you know that they're not even here my freaking heart dropped i'm like i just waited three four hours in line for no reason basically that's what you're telling me so like i'm in line in the hot sun and at this point it's like 4 or 5 p.m and you mean to tell me that the judges are not even here like the only people that were there i think was bobby and new york but like aside from that none of the judges were even at the location you guys like oh my god that's when i knew that's when i told myself i'm either leaving or i'm not getting back in line it was just no way like i just told myself like something has got to give something got to give right now like because i just i just couldn't do it it was just too hot and then now you're telling me that the judges are not even here and i'm supposed to get back in line like i just wasn't going for it you know so after i leave the restroom i end up just kind of like floating like in the front a little bit like i wasn't like i wasn't in line but there was like this little waiting area in the front and then there's like the gate so I was like on the outside of the gate in the front. So it was other girls that were kind of standing around over there. So I kind of was just standing there like, you know, I'm gonna just stand over here until somebody told me to get back in line. Like, you know, so nobody told me to get back in line. There was a couple of times the security tried to like get some of us to go back in line, but I, you know, I maneuvered. I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna keep running until they really, really press a hard line for me to get back in line. So I realized that no one was like really making me get back in line. I went back and got the girl who I came with and I'm like, you know, come to the front. And it's so funny because like I really risked my spot in the front because you know, I could have easily went to the back of the line and like been like, come on, like let's go. And by the time I came back, they could have just been like, no, you gotta go back in line. But you know, that's how real of a B that I am. I'm a real B, like, you know, I'm a team player. And if I go somewhere with somebody, you know, I'm gonna make sure that we're both, you know, following along. I'm not gonna leave you behind or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't do no shady stuff like that. So I did go back and go and get her child. And it's so funny, cause like, when I was trying to tell her, like, hop over the gate, like, come on. She's like, what? She's like, what, what? Like, no, I don't wanna lose my spot in line. Like, what, like, what, what do you want me to come to the front 
for and I'm just looking at her like come on like come on like let's go because I don't want to say it out loud because then everybody's gonna try to go to the front and then they're gonna send all of us back so I'm like trying to tell her like just hop over the fence like let's go so after trying to tell her that for like the last five ten minutes she finally listens to me and gets over the gate and we go to the front y'all and then yeah <laughs> that's pretty much how we ended up in the front of the line um now at one point they did make us all get back in line like but even at that we didn't have to go back to where we were we literally just went in the gate and like we were now in the front of the whole line like ciao see it really pays to you know use your brain sometimes you know but you know i was determined not to go back to the end of the line ciao so that's how we ended up in the front now um maybe i want to say like maybe like 30 minutes later after we actually got back in the line that's when uh the owners and the ceos all arrived and like you know everybody's like screaming like zeus 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 and like you know that's when a lot of the uh